missed it. Old Deuteronomy actually got away with them, and Khalif on the on the right of picture began well, but headed off by Prince of Denmark early. Uh, and Khalif has dropped in behind in about fourth or fifth position, held up. So it's Russian Valor who goes on from Old Deuteronomy and up there as well as Prince of Denmark. In behind them on the inside, Khalif, who's got cover on the inside here of Soonest. Further back in the field, then Navisian lad just preceded by Caffawain. They go through the first two furlongs, and it's Russian Valor on the right with the yellow sleeves. Old Deuteronomy in the dark blue jacket. Khalif now seeing daylight moving up as well. Followed then by Soonest behind them and then Prince of Denmark. They've kicked away now from Knight's Cross. They come up with a furlong and a half to go. Old Deuteronomy moves up now to tackle Russian Valor. Khalif under the whip now has called on for an effort. Russian Valor it is though. It goes into the lead inside the final furlong. Khalif trying hard to wear him down but it's the Mark Johnson train. Russian Valor who's going to cause an upset. Russian Valor goes on to win the North Oak. He was too strong for Khalif in third place division lad in fourth then old Deuteronomy followed further back by Prince of Denmark they were followed then by uh, Knight's Cross further back Caffawain and one of the last was soonest he's been beaten but a third two-year-old winner for Mark Johnson Russian Valor wins the Norfolk in second then Khalif in third then Norwegian lad in fourth old Deuteronomy in fifth is uh, Prince of Denmark. In sixth, Knight's Cross. In seventh is Soonest. And in eighth and last, Caffaway. The winner is number seven, Russian Valor. Owned by A. Latter and Partners, trained by Mark Johnston, his third two year old winner at the meeting, and ridden by Kevin Daly, his 51st winner of the season. Second, number, number two, Khalif. Owned by Sheikh Ahmed Al Maktoum, trained by David Loder, ridden by Frankie de Tori. And third is number three, Norwegian Lad, is run a big race, uh, owned by R. Lebanon Partners, trained by Michael Bell, ridden by Kieran Fallon, and fourth, Old Deuteronomy. And there are the colours there. Russian Valor, though, who won the national stakes at Sandown. He's a horse who has proved erratic in the past, but today he went as straight as a die up that stands rail, and he was too good for Khalif, who surprisingly was held up in the early stages. Well, 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 that is an upset, no doubt about it. Frankie de Tori was so confident on this horse, so relaxed, and when actually he starts to push the button here, Khalif does not find as much as he is expecting. And you can see the sort of the panic start to set in. This horse isn't picking up. I thought he was going to be a monster. And meanwhile, uh, Kevin Darley, who's got the running rail and had the, uh, the lead on Russian Valor, has pushed out, punched out all the way to the line to complete a two-year-old treble for Mark Johnston. But the odds on favourite beaten. Yes, terribly beaten too. Uh, it's uh, this um, winner by Fazliev, who was a very, very fast two-year-old. Uh, he was unbeaten before he broke down. Fazlev, he was a, he was absolutely a real, real fast horse, tra trained uh, by Aidan O'Brien. And uh, this guy, what kind of horse is this going to be when he does when he does mature? Because he is a great big horse, and I don't think he's he's there yet. He's going to get better. How, how much better can he get? But well, he he's a lovely, lovely horse. Well, four to one, he was returned. There was a big cheer as he crossed the line because a lot of people don't like backing odds on favourites. The small punters out there just won't do it because the returns aren't big enough. And uh, they would have got their money. But Khalif, I think Frankie just wanted to look after him. After he knew he was beaten, he didn't <coughs> want to give him a really hard race. And I'm sure that he'll still be winning yes, decent races. Yes, that was but... uh, obviously, that you see, um, Russian Valerie's had four races and the experience did start to tell in the finishing stages. But Frankie thought that the class of, of his horse, uh, Khalif, would see him through, but uh, obviously Russian Valor, this German bred, uh, well, he's not, he's, uh, the breeder is a German, and uh, he's, he's, he's grown up a lot, Russian Valor, because, you know, he was really tricky on a couple of his runs. He actually lost one of his races by diving off to the left, and he kept very, very straight today and has coped with the occasion really well. And what a week Mark Johnston is having. Fantastic, and he just, he's still got a bit of, he looks as though he, he could be hard, he's, he's not really hard fit yet. Mark Johnston's 17th winner at uh, Royal Ascot following uh, Attraction and Pearl of Love. And he was saying earlier this week that he's never had a stronger 